video. Bye! Ah! Hi Snakeys, it's me Fifi and I'm back, I'm back again today with another girl group mix and today I have a nice collection of reactions for you, where is my little list? Um, okay, so first up, I'm gonna be doing Young Pussies, ate that. Stacy's Meow, which is a Japanese release, which I'm so excited for because Stacy's Japanese releases slap. Um, Eily One's Firework. You should already know I'm going into that very, very skeptical. You know I have a pet peeve when it comes to fireworks. I hate. I hate them in real life, I hate them in music videos, and since this is called Firework, I'm assuming there's going to be fireworks. Um, but that, that won't matter, if the song slaps, it won't matter. And then last but not least, um, oh no, I've done it in the wrong order. Then we have Mumbio's Is This Love, but I'll be doing, anyway, it doesn't matter, the order doesn't matter, you'll be watching it anyway. Um, I'm super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer. I don't like to react with captions on as I find them distracting. I like to concentrate on the music and the music production is what I like to comment on the most. When I'm looking at the words at the bottom of the screen, I'm missing parts of the song, their vocals, and I'm missing parts of the MV and choreo. I'll read the lyrics later in my own time. Okay guys, let's go. So I'm going to be watching all four of these in one go and then I'll be commenting on them all afterwards. First up we have Young Posse. Ate that MV. Let's go. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. I need to pause it for one quick second. Immediately we got that G Funk West Coast whistle vibe. It's giving DJ Quick. It's giving Dr. Dre. Also, you got the Hollywood, you got the dice. Okay. What that's missing is a cholo. Is there, is this, okay. It's giving um, GTA, Grand Theft Auto vibes as well. Oh God, I'm <laughs> Please. It's the guy from the last, oh, the brightness is doing that thing again. Sorry guys. Oh wow. What kind of? Another butter G thing, baby. Hey! Got your room on the channel, left no crumbs. Won't you board your mic? Will you have some fun? Chava, you go on my TV, see guys. Got you dubs to your love, I'll be level up. We got you my pretty mind. Can you take it and get out of the jewelry? Let's see the older. We go surfing on the machine. Da 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 Mm. 
<laughs> that was gonna be crazy. That was really crazy. That was really crazy. Given eight, that sis. Oh, that switch. Oh, they got the vocoder in there as well. Giving San Andreas vibes. If you want to stop the hunger in the world, stop. I got a lot to say though, so right wait now, until Gaza, you hear my commentary bed, at the end because I have lots to say. Some good, mostly good, some negatives. Let's go, Stacey. Production, the vocals, the melodies, everything about this. Oh, they did the thing after that! Yeah! Vocals in back. How's that? In the back, sounds so good. Way too short. Please stop with the short songs. I am begging you, K-pop industry. But the switch ups in that were 10 out of 10. Some really nice vocal moments as well. Mumbia, my wife. What's she giving us this time? Play my favorite sport. Basketball tattoo. This 
stop the moves. Oh, wow. It's given late second gen, early third gen. Oh. Something about that beat, this beat is giving me Prince. Pretty chorus, I can't take it. That melody. so bad I was not expecting that oh my god girl I love you that's my wife you know mm. what an instrumental is that all really speed sorry this piece of hair is really annoying I'm sorry if that's been annoying this whole time it would annoy me Before bed tonight, try this seven second brain trick to How help attract about? money no. while you sleep. I don't it want comes to. From understa Here we go. I'm really worried about this one. Hopefully I like this song. About a pain, there's no like fireworks in it, but this is called firework. It might be the one time there's no firework. Fender Roads?
Song slaps it. I love that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So good up. No, don't end it with the fireworks. <laughs> I just hate fireworks so bad, bro. Oh, the song was so good though. Damn. I'm kind of mad as hell. I'm kind of mad as hell because that was so good. I love that song so badly, but they even added fireworks like within the production. <laughs> I swear to you, I don't know what it is. I just hate fireworks so bad in real life as well. I think it stems from, I know, like, Animals are scared of it. I have a dog. My dog isn't scared of it personally, but I know a lot of people's dogs are scared of fireworks. All the wildlife, like the little animals and stuff. Like, it's scary. It's also pollution. Also, they're boring as hell. How are you as a grown adult looking at fireworks still in 2024 and going, whoa. I just don't get it. So I hate fireworks. And then the second reason why I hate fireworks is K-pop videos. Final chorus at the end of almost the majority. I don't know if there's a K-pop group ever to exist that hasn't had fireworks in at least one of the MVs. That's how often it is. And it never looks good in my opinion. It always looks cheap and crappy. Um, so that's my hate for fireworks out of the way. You always know I have to do a firework rent. Uh, but the song was like, it's so good. I love the production. Really, really nice production. Strong bass, little synthy moments. That pre-chorus, the melodies, the pads, it just sounded so good. Really nice vocal moments. I have to go back to the melodies again, like the ad-libs. Just each section of the song was 10 out of 10 melodies. Like, I'm gonna be listening to that. It's gonna piss me off when I hear the fireworks sound effects in the back, but it was really, really good. I wish it wasn't about fireworks. Or wasn't called Firework, at least. I don't think it's about fireworks. I don't think it's a love song about fireworks, but yeah. Mugyeon! She snaked us so bad! I guess those of you who watched the teaser and stuff would have known that she was gonna drop something that vibe. I didn't, I don't watch teasers, so that was a complete snakery. You're a snake, she's a snake, RBW's a snake, whole of Mama Moo are snakes, snakery. It was so good. Again, similar to, I feel like, I Lee One. Uh, it had like a third gen vibe, like an like a early sort of third gen vibe, which I'm really, really here for. She suits that, so, like I know she's quite, she's very sexy and she can do quite, you know, she can do um, boy group concepts really well. But for me, when she does this stuff, it's my favorite because she's just so adorable to me as well. Um, song slap, again, melodies and switch ups, fantastic. Uh, Stacy again, Melodies and switch ups, they absolutely slap. It was way, way, way too short though. Please, K pop industry, call it quits with the short song. I am begging of you. Um, but I love the switch ups again. Strong bass. I feel like with uh, um, Stacey, Mugyo, and I only won in certain parts of the song, there's quite similar instrumentation, like it flowed really well, all three of those. Also, Sissy Girl, like, I love that so much, I swear to God, and they did it twice. Um, young Pussy, now, oh my God, I'm so like, first of all, I feel like the company is problematic. I feel like there's been, since their debut, there has been situations that I've had fans and just K 
K-pop fans questioning certain things, which I completely sort of understand. And that comes with the issue we have at the moment with the K-pop industry debuting children, essentially. Like, there's always going to be an issue, there's always going to be a conversation around that, right? Um, but recently there was a video going around, so I don't know the full details. Um, if you want, I can find you the tweet. If you need the tweet, um, actually, if you go on my schedule for, that I posted for this week on Sunday, Someone left a comment letting me know the situation and they also like provided me with a link to go on Twitter and to do my own research, to, to which I did. Um, so basically there's this one guy and he does like parodies, I can never pronounce that, is it parodies or parodies? I don't know. Um, and he basically, he's like a character, like he does like this silly character. A lot of like K-hip-hop artists really dislike him, he has like a really sort of I don't know, this personality he puts on is not very likeable, to be honest, but it's meant to be comedic. Um, and there's a video of him with the girls. I will say that the two girls he interacted with weren't underage. I don't know the members' names, I apologise, but apparently they're not two of the underage girls. But there was a, an interaction between them and it was quite inappropriate. Um, personally, where I stand on this is it's a character he's playing, so I can kind of brush it off in a sense, well, this is a character, like, I don't have to worry about their safety in that instance, right? It's just the character he's putting on. However, I will say that I would prefer if the company didn't put the girls in these types of situations. They're still very, very young girls, right? So, yeah, I think maybe just be vigilant, be aware, um, but yeah, the song absolutely slapped, okay? Like I already said, it had that, you know, G-Funk, West Coast vibe. Um, I love the GTA um, inspo. I love GTA. Like, I'm not a gamer, but when I was a kid, I used to play Vice City, San Andreas, GTA 4, like, non-stop. I just used to drive around. I never used to do missions. I used to drive around and listen to the radio when I was growing up on PS2. So that was really nice to see. Um, and the song itself was fantastic. It did get cringy at times. I have to be completely 100% transparent with you guys. Like I can't, I'm not gonna sit here and not say my honest opinion. Um, whilst it slapped, whilst I loved elements of the MV, there were moments where I did find it quite cringy. Um, almost a bit try too hard. Um, and I think having, you know, African American culture within K pop is such a nice thing, it's such a blessing. When it's done well, um, especially when like you can combine two cultures together, it's like a meshing of culture. And it's, that's one of my favorite things about K pop. I'm not African American, but I love African American culture. Um, I am black, I'm mixed with black, but I'm not African American, so um, I'm African. Um, but it's nice to see, but I think sometimes when it's done like a little too hard, it can be it, just, it can be a bit cringy. Like you remember like BTS first debut, you know, they did all those like MVs and the, do you know what I mean? It can be a little bit cringy in a certain times where I felt like it was just too much. It was a bit too much. Like added a little bit of elements in there here and there, a nod to that culture, but I think it was done that it became a little bit cringy for me at times. Do I still love love Young Posse? Yes, I really, really like the girls. I think they're super, super talented. And I think the music slaps. And I think the MVs are really, 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 really well done. Um, I should think they, I think they should. Like so far it's been tasteful, right? Having that influence in their songs, in their music and in their MVs, it's been tasteful. I feel like this one went a tiny bit overboard. A tiny bit. Something about the lyrics were a little bit off as well. We need to look who, wrote the lyrics. Um, I'm never too mad about lyrics in K-pop being like wrong or cringy because at the end of the day they're Korean. Um, and it's very like first gen, second gen vibes where the lyrics were never perfect, but it's kind of what made K-pop special and what made it like catchy, right? It's like the bad lyrics and stuff like that. So I'm not too mad at that, but if people don't like the songs for that reason, 
it's understandable and for like the other reasons that I listed. Me personally, I really enjoyed it. It was cringe at times, but overall it was a fantastic song. Um, it was really well done. But yeah, that's it. I've been yakety yakety yakety. Jesus Christ. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I love you. Gonna follow me on Instagram. Gonna follow me on Twitter. Twitter? Don't over and follow me on TTs, aka X. And then follow me on TikTok as well. I'm posting a lot of like short reactions over on TikTok. I'm doing a Taylor Swift series at the moment. I'm actually surprised I actually like some of her songs. But anyway, bye.